Hey, you guys, welcome back. We are back with another story time from my hotel room. You guys, if you watched the video before, you already know why I am in the same room because I am pre-recording videos, you guys. We got to get ahead of the game. Before we get started, you guys, you already know, subscribe to the channel. Send your friends, your family, your mom, your dad, cousins and uncles, anybody that like to giggle. <laughs> Send them over this way, y'all. <laughs> and you guys go ahead and like the video after you watch it. And also subscribe to the channel, you guys. It is absolutely free. It is in your budget. And also give the videos a thumbs up. We upload every what? Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Except that there is situations and complications. And we're not foreseeing any situations or complications this week. Okay? So let's go ahead and get right into the story. No, before I do that, let me go ahead and give a shout out to The Knotted Wrap. The Knotted Wrap is a, I will put their information down down in the bio is a wonderful lady that I met. She's a follower of mine on um, Instagram. And I think she either sent me a rap or, you know what, when I first started TikTok, I, was al I always had a rap on my head. And so she inboxed me or DM me on, on Instagram. And she sent me a rap and I fell in love with it. You guys, these raps are pre-knotted. So you saw the one from before. I'll let you in the other video that was brown. So this right here is already pre-knotted and it doesn't come loose, you guys. I've washed these, well, not this one, but I have like two other ones from before. I washed them in the washing machine and they did not unravel. So it's the Knotted Wrap, K-N-O-T-T-E-D-R-W-R-A-P. And she is on Instagram. She is wonderful, guys. And they even got payment plans. You know how you can do Afterpay or Klarna or something like that. But the wraps are not that expensive. She always has a sale going on of some sort. And it is a variety of fabrics, colors, and patterns. So shout out, girl, shout out. And I just ordered me three three more. Um, I have this one, the brown, the brown one, this one, and another color one that I just ordered. So if you like the little hair wraps and put you some big hoop earrings in or having a bad hair day, that is the way to go, boo. Okay, so let's get into this story here. Now, mind you, we used to live on Vine Street. Remember where the creepy, uh, the, the clothing store was, the thrift store, and then me, we, me and Wendell ran back to the home. We lived on Vine Street, ran back after he got jumped, basically. We ran back to Vine Street, you guys, to our house. And so Vine Street, even now, Vine Street is really, it, Vine Street is being gentrified now. So let's put that out there. But prior to, Vine Street was a place where you could find pimps, killers, and dealers, honey. Pimps, killers, and dealers, hoes, and whores, honey. The play, drunkards and everything that you could think of happened in OTR over the Rhine. As I mentioned, well, I didn't mention that. I just said Vine Street, but now OTR is being gentrified. So it is wonderful. It smells like flowers and peaches and little white fluffy dogs are walking down the street, honey, and folks are jogging and riding bikes. That ain't the Vine Street I'm talking about. I'm talking about old Vine Street back when I was growing up. So this is where a lot of riff raffs and drug deals and all that different stuff went down, honey, in this particular area. And so one day, don't do it, Sherry. Stop it now. Okay. So one day, we didn't have a car. My dad didn't have a car at that time. And so we were going down the street to catch the bus. Now, where we lived at on Vine Street, which was at the top part of Vine Street where originally, almost originally started, we walked up maybe about one or two blocks. And at the Vine Street goes up a hill, and we call that Vine Hill. But at the bottom of Vine Hill, there is a fire station and there is a bus stop right there. And the bus that runs over there is like the 17, 18, or 19. Don't know where we were going. Can't remember. I wasn't paying for it, honey. All I know is the big blue limousine was coming to get me and my dad. So it was me, my dad, and it was my brother Jojo, and it was uh, my mom. I don't know where Tracy was. Tracy, did we leave you in the house, girl? Did they leave you? <laughs> we was latchkey kids before it was known as being latchkey. So we were waiting there for the bus. The bus was taking forever. And on the corner where this uh, uh, fire station is, it's like a point. So this would be Vine Street, and then this would be like Macmillan Street. And so there's like this point, and there's a store right there that's shaped like a point 
that's um, that's right there on the end of the street. That spot there was the hot spot. The park that I talked about that I got jumped in, the one that me and Tracy went swimming at and all that different stuff, there was a lot of activities going on in that park. And right behind the park where the fence was, that was the back of Macmillan Street. So if you go up Macmillan Street, it was all types of activities going on. It was nothing to step outside to see people fighting. It was nothing to hear gunfire. You know what goes on in the hood. So there's your, your visual of what was happening. So we're standing at the bus stop and this man comes outside, him and this woman, and they appear to be drunk. I know what drunk looked like at that time because my daddy was an alcoholic. So he's stumbling around and he is cussing this woman out. And so we're just standing there, you know, just kind of looking and bearing in my mom or being entertained by it because this is just what happens in the hood, honey. And so they're arguing, they're fussing and they're back and forth with one another and, and all that different stuff. And I'm just looking at these people like these folks is wild. It was just a lot of activity that particular day. And so we're waiting on the bus and they're arguing, they're arguing. Now, first they started like, here's the fire station. It has like two fire station doors or whatever. And up above it is where the firemen live. But right next to it is a building where a bunch of families live. So they're out there and they're arguing. They're, I mean, they're going at it. And he's, you dirty, whatever. You know somebody drunk. Ain't no, ain't nobody going to call you a dirty bee. Uh, not unless they good and drunk. <laughs> so he said, you dirty bee. And he cussing this woman out. And she's not even a tall little lady. She's just a little short stature lady. She going in, you know, with him or whatever. And he talking all kind of trash. Now, he's drunk, so he's kind of staggering over a little bit. And, you know, when folks get drunk, they ain't got no good balance or whatever. So he talking all kind of trash, and he reached out to try to grab the woman. So she snatched back or whatever, and he kind of, you know, tilts a little bit into the street, and he's still walking up on her, and they arguing, they arguing. Now, mind you, they started out in the front of their building. So now they're, in, they're progressively coming up. But going back down Macmillan, which is where we're at. So here they are arguing at their building. Here's the fire station. And then here we are like right over here waiting for the bus for the bus to come. So they just arguing, arguing. And I mean, they are going at it. So by this time, we're just kind of looking and being entertained. I'm in my mind hoping the bus is coming. And Baron's like way chuckling to herself. My mom's just sitting there looking like shaking her head. Like, take that stuff back in the house or just stop arguing altogether. And so Baron is just like, <laughs> they going back and forth, go back and forth. He was like, you cheating on me, you dirty, da 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 And I'm like, oh, he, she cheating on him. Not really knowing what cheating is, but whatever cheating is at this time, it ain't what you're supposed to be doing. Because obviously this man is visibly upset because he being cheated on. And she was like, you da 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 And they back and forth. So now they're by the fire station. They could they by the first door of the fire station. Now they at the second door of the fire station. Okay, now here we are right here. Y'all need to take that business somewhere else. So Baron just standing there. He's just steady chuckling at these people. And he's back and forth and he's cussing her out and they tussling with one another. And we scoot up, you know, Baron kind of pushes up back and we scoot up a little bit closer to the building. So, you know, if they decide they want to walk past us and argue, you can. And we just push back by the building and hoping you ain't falling all on us and, and doing all that mess over there and picking with us. And so the man is just cussing a woman out. Now, mind you, he keeps stumbling. I'm like, all right, then, dude is definitely drunk or what have you. Shall so next thing you know, I don't know if she called. Well, it wasn't cell phones back in this day. So I don't know if she had called her boyfriend from inside that house. Now that I'm thinking about it now, this is the only way this guy could have just automatically pulled up. So uh, my thinking is she's called this guy from inside this house, inside of whoever apartment it is. It's probably he is her. I don't know. She must have called her old, her little boyfriend and told him to come over there. So they done got to argue. Either he done heard her say, come get me or whatever the situation is. They must have started arguing in the house. And so they kind of came outside and started arguing from there because her thing is I'm going outside because he coming to pick me up. Now you're wondering why I'm saying this. I'm about to tell you why I'm saying this is probably what happened in the house when you you know, put it together years later. So the outside arguing and this, this, and this. She waiting on the rag, y'all. She waiting on somebody to come get her. Because next thing you know, this pickup truck 
pulls up right to where they are. They're at the second door of the fire station. The truck pulls up. Now, mind you, with the fire station, you know, you can pull in if you're the fire truck, but there's that little slump from, you know, going to the street or whatever. So the truck kind of pulls up off the, you know, off the street, but kind of on the sidewalk. So she's trying to get in the truck and he's pulling on her arm. So by this time, Baron has shifted us down away from, you know, away from the, the bus stop because now you got a truck sitting right here and we're right here by the bus stop and it's done got a little bit too much going on because now y'all pulling up trucks and carrying on and, and the fumes is kicking out from the truck. This ain't what we want to be. But this daggone pickup truck wasn't no nice uh, F-150 pickup truck. This was like one of them Fred Sanford <laughs> One of them Fred Sanford daggone junk pickup trucks that came and get us. So the guy jumps out the other side of the truck with the door open and hollering at the dude, hollering at the dude, and the dude hollering at him and hollering back at him. And she's pulling away from him. He like, get in the truck, get in the truck. So she finally get around there to get in the truck. So she gets on in the truck. And then the man that was had the door open was like, man, da 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 They going back and forth at it. And so the man is like hitting on the drunk guy. It's like hitting on the guy's car, but he's hitting on the side of the passenger where the woman had got in. So next thing you know, y'all, I lie not to you. Chad, I ain't gonna lie to you. This man backed his truck up some. Now, we're thinking he backing his truck up some so he can go on ahead and, and come on out, you know, hit the little curb and go on out in front of the fire thing. He hit the man. He hit the drunk man. He clipped him. Y'all, when he clipped him, the man fell over and his leg flew and landed in the street. I screamed, Wah! Bears laughing. Y'all, I'm thinking he gonna kill, he done ran this man over and done hit him so hard his natural leg blew up. Y'all, the man had a robotic leg. He wasn't drunk. He was a, what you call them robot legs? <laughs> he wasn't drunk, y'all. The reason why he was falling over, prosthetic, prosthetic leg. He had a prosthetic leg. I thought the man was drunk because he leaned all over like this. He was trying to catch his balance. That fool clipped him with that truck, y'all. And his leg went up over the truck and in the street. The man trying to get up off the ground, y'all, the worst part about it was he was still cussing the back of that truck out. <laughs> He was cussing that truck <laughs> He got up finally. People hollering and screaming. Bear laughing his butt off. I'm screaming because I'm terrorized thinking it's an actual limb. So after it was all said and done, that's what my mommy, my mommy told me. She said, Ma, she said, Sherry, that was a fake leg. It's not his real. I was like, his leg blew off in the street. She was like, no, you didn't see any blood. Did you? I was like, no, it wasn't no blood. She said, because that's a fake leg. I said, oh, oh, okay. Then I still was traumatized to see that sucker come fly past. Where is the bus when you need it? I need a transfer, honey. So some people ran over there when he got hit by the truck. He didn't care nothing about getting hit by that truck. He was cussing that man the back of that truck out. And that truck sped off up the top of Vine Hill. They helped him up. He hobbled around. And the only thing he hobbled, gave me my dad blame leg. First of all, bro, you on your own. I'm not picking that leg up. And it wasn't like it was a real nice leg. It ain't like the legs today where it match your flesh and everything. It was just like it had a shoe on it, though. And it was metal and it just flew. All I seen was this man fall over. And I thought his natural leg was gone, you guys. They, the man hopped on over there, got his leg on. He didn't know. I take that back. He hopped over there, got his leg, and he had enough balance to hop, hop back in the house. Because in order to put that leg back on, he would have had to take his pants down. Now, if I done seen fly legs and booty cheeks in one day, that's too much for me to process. Y'all, I don't even know if we waited. I think after that, we just walked back home. It was like this. I don't know where we were trying to go, but this ain't the day to go because the block was hot, honey. It was legs, holes, and trucks on the corner. It wasn't for us. 
to be outside. We walked back down the street. We went in the house. We never met our destination. Honey, that man got his leg went in the house. And that truck drove up the street. Vine and over the rag. Hot, honey. Hot. And this was in the 70s. Except either late 70s or early 80s, honey. You ain't want to be in that neighborhood, y'all. You like to lose your leg. You like to lose your dad playing leg with something like that. You guys, that's my story time. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Get a video with a thumbs up. Honey, put some legs. Do they got the leg emoji down there? Put some leg emojis down in the thumb. If y'all put leg emojis in that comment, y'all go in the hill. <laughs> Meet you down there with one good leg, baby. Go ahead and get a video with a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and families. And we'll see you <laughs> on the next time we upload on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Peace. Don't hurt nobody.